My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and today we're talking about the other, another way that you can drive your camshafts and the way you can do this is the cat is favourite way which is using a belt and generally with the head that we have here um, your tensioner is actually a spring eccentric tensioner so that basically winds out and applies um, force to the belt like this they are tooth belts they can't be v belts the reason why is v belts will slip where tooth belts um, engage the teeth that's on your pulleys at the top here and generally when you do this there's some other gearing down at the bottom to reduce the speed because generally these are one to one ratio and obviously this needs to spin at half crankshaft speed does your uh, camshafts exhaust and inlet um, so you can have a, a spring eccentric tensioner pretty much the same kind of thing people have said there's a few problems with it why would you want to do this because you're Ducati and you're awkward <laughs> but in realistic terms um, the belt generally does last longer um, because the environment that it lives in isn't as harsh as in there's no metal to metal contact the wear is a lot less um, the belt will slightly, you know, creep and stretch over time, um, hence why you need the tensioner. There's also re um, oscillations and harmonics. Same thing with the roller chain, which is what I failed to mention, is that there are resonance frequencies and harmonics when your chain basically, between two points here, there, there begins to be standing waves, depending what frequency uh, the engine vibrates at, depending what frequency the chain, uh, not the chain isn't rotating at a certain frequency it's the engine vibrations um, so you need a tensioner to kind of take up that slack um, if there is any weird uh, obviously maintain pressure so the tooth spacing between here and here the drive and the driven is the same um, the problem with this system is obviously these cha these belts don't like oil they can degrade them they can fuck them up and they can also cause them obviously to slip um, even the tooth ones so you have to have this on the outside of your engine casing so it's separate from the oil system and with Ducatis that's fine a lot of times because they have V-twins so there is the room so to speak but it just makes things a bit more awkward for you but that is another way, it's also quieter that's what people argue uh, and rightly so it is quieter you know uh, cam belts uh, compared to a chain are very very quiet because it's the um, polymer, uh, polymer bloody <laughs> The, the belt material, um, you know, with its reinforcement and all the rest of it, rubbing against uh, metal pulleys, usually aluminium, can be magnesium sometimes, stuff like that. So the um, impact forces, there really aren't any impact forces, so they're a lot quieter. So that's another way you can do it. Again, um, the main drawback to this is that you have to stick it outside of the oil supply, which means you have to make special, say special, you have to make... Um, alterations to your engine design to have this you know work this way hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit 